the uh, water pump impeller took a rock right here boom and blew this off blew all the blew it out the impeller was making all kinds of noise in there so uh, yeah maybe we need to figure out how to make a guard for those keep that from getting punched off this piece got hit by a rock and blew it completely off and all the coolant sprayed out of here the problem is, is that the part is on back order until May and right now we are on January 4th there's no way that I'm gonna wait five months for me to uh, ride my free ride again so I'm gonna try and fix this with uh, plastic epoxy and uh, see what happens but yeah we got to put that piece back on there and we got to make sure that the little water pump impeller um, doesn't fall out of that also so i'm gonna try and fix that all right so we've got it uh putty back into place this is a jb plastic weld got it in there and i've got everything pressed out we want to obviously keep the water flow going through here pretty well the this problem is going to be this right here i think i'm going to stick like some little small screwdriver in there to rebuild that but we need to make sure that the uh, outer diameter of this little post will go inside of the impeller right there. So you can see that that's a little bit of a predicament because we want that to be smooth. So I'll probably have to build that up a little bit to make sure it doesn't fall apart. And then uh, use the Dremel tool to smooth it out so it fits inside. Yeah, this will probably work. It's not ideal. Uh, just kind of temporary use until the other one can come off back order. So while we're waiting for the product to cure on there, this is the product I'm using. It's called Plastic Weld from JB. I highly recommend you have this in your garage. It's uh, it's pretty cheap. I want to think it's less like less than eight bucks. And you should also have the JB Quick Steel because you can repair stuff like these uh, engine cases and things like that if you break them on rocks with uh, the Quick Steel. I've had the Quick Steel on my 690 for like two and a half years now. And brake pedal went through the uh, case, crashing on a rock. This plastic weld and the JB Quick Steel, I highly, highly recommend. So this is what the product looks like. It's a two-part epoxy. And then uh, you just cut the chunk off that you need with a razor blade and you play with it like Play-Doh. It doesn't take very long to cure. I want to think it's like 15 or 20 minutes and it is rock hard and uh, very, very sturdy stuff. Pretty cool, very easy to put in your uh, bag or toolkit when you go trail riding you can repair your cases your levers radiators a little bit with this where the bolts broke out of them yeah so get the uh, jb quick steel for sure in your bag and take it with you when you're trail riding this is a this is a lifesaver and get you out of the trail get you unstranded so here's a piece sliced off and then you just mush it together until it's all blended and as long as you're manipulating it like dough it will stay soft and uh, you can wrap it around whatever you want. You can shape it any shape you want. All right, so I got it all uh, built up and reinforced. And this stuff is sandable, paintable. So what we'll do is we'll let it all cure up and we're gonna paint it up so it doesn't look like a big ugly booger on the bike. After looking at these things and how easy they break, uh, this actually probably isn't even a bad idea to reinforce them if you ride in the woods. Uh, you could just put a little bit of this stuff and it's like making your own guard for it. You could just uh, putty this stuff on there, build it up and and not have it break on you like it did on me because you don't want to wait five months to get a new one so now what i've done is i've reinforced that uh, thing for the impeller to go into and i just stuck a bolt in there that's about the same diameter as the, the little impeller pin deal and that white thing and as you can see uh, it has to fit inside of this so we probably will have to go in there with the dremel tool and grind that out so that it'll fit so if we pull the water pump out of the housing which is here in the engine case. It's rubber dampened there. This is the uh, the pump. So if I can find this thing somewhere online, I'm going to link down below to it. But uh, Tops Flow Special Car PCB Pump. So we're going to look for that and see if we can find one to uh, replace that's uh, aftermarket. later that night all right it's all set up now and i got it to sand it a little bit to prep for paint so we're gonna spray paint this uh, aluminum kind of silver colored so that it matches the engine case a little bit better all right we got our piece done here got a crappy little paint job on it but uh kind of spray paint came bubbling out of the can it was at the bottom of the can so 
then on the inside you can see we got the uh, little post thing there rebuilt ready to go we got it all the the jb weld stuff in there uh smoothed out so water will flow freely but this thing should work we're gonna give her a install now all right i got it back together and the impeller is spinning uh freely there's a little like a uh, fiberglass rod or something in there that uh, it spins on and keeps it in alignment this is actually magnetic and it just clicks into the body right here it slides in and clicks in, so I'm going to be very careful putting it back together because this is going to cure, and I'm not going to ride the bike for a day or so at least uh, before I even test it, but everything seems to be spinning freely, and we'll get her back together. And now we just slide the water pump back into the engine and then reattach the hoses. All right, it's all buttoned together. The next day. I put a little fresh water in the radiator for a little test run here, and we're going to turn on the water pump. See what happens. like it drew it down and see that it's moving around in the radiator so everything sounds like it's good to go you can hear it over the birds sorry about the wind but uh, my water pump hack seems to be uh, a success and uh, I'm gonna try and come up with a solution to uh, keep this from happening again so subscribe to the channel I'll probably put that out at some point uh, yeah it seems to be a little bit of a vulnerable spot and uh, I want this to happen to anybody else take care